In an ever-changing nation, there's been one constant. American truckers. A job that's older than the roads and highways we travel every day, meeting every demand throughout the decade. Workhorses of the U.S. military, lifelines of the supply chain, unsung heroes of the pandemic. America first turned to truck drivers to reach corners of the country the trains couldn't. We roll on the singing wheels that serve America. Rolling trucker, keep rolling along. Bare bones with all rubber tires embarking on months long journeys to deliver goods. Furniture and breakfast food, circus tents and peanuts, garden truck and radio, silk socks and concrete, things to eat and things to wear. Just 700 trucks were on U.S. roads in 1904. Today, that number is more than 15 million. And together, they're responsible for moving 70% of everything we eat, drink, and wear. Chris Emi is a third generation trucker. He grew up in a truck. Trucking is in his blood. Riding with you, um, it, you really get a different perspective on the roads and just America in general. You get a front row seat to seeing America. That's, that's really what it is. The front row seat to seeing America is a more than $750 billion industry relying on men and women behind the wheel in an unprecedented storm. It takes a lot to get the product on the store shelves and people have no idea what it entails and what the what the drivers entail is putting up with enduring to get that product on the shelf march of 2020 the pandemic bringing the nation to a standstill but demands for goods were never higher so many truckers kept going to keep the shelves stocked and the gas stations full thank you so much but a record number left the job altogether. Last year, the industry was short 80,000 drivers, a new record. The, the thing is, is that, you know, trucking just isn't as sexy as it used to be for, for better or worse. For drivers, it's a job that puts them on the road for five or six days a week, adding up to about 300 days a year. All right, have fun at school. <laughs> I love you. So I think that it's quality of life some has to do with pay. Companies are now hoping to bump up the pay to attract more drivers and convince current drivers to stay. Like Walmart, which recently raised its starting salary to at least $95,000 because fewer drivers means fewer goods on the shelves when you need them. You were going to the store and your favorite thing was out, it's toilet paper, toothpaste, tube socks. It doesn't matter. You have some communities that actually can't be serviced by anything but truck. And the stakes have gotten higher so has the cost to operate. You have to keep the truck running in order to keep the wheels turning, in order to keep earning. Diesel, once $2.87 a gallon in 2010, now over $5. Each tire is $500. At, at my max, I'll take 200 gallons of fuel. You know, you do that twice a week, three times a week. It adds up to a lot of money at the end of the year. How much will it cost to fill the truck up? If I was, if I was empty, empty, uh, five, $600. Then there's the prices of permits. Just one can be anywhere from five to $5,000 and the cost of life on the road. Even at convenience stores, a Snickers bar cost a little over a dollar 10 years ago. Now it's $1.59. And so there's all these little tiny things that add up on top of themselves that just add to higher costs in general. Today, a profession that was once a fixture of pop culture in the 1970s has fallen out of the spotlight just when its contributions have never been more crucial. But the men and women behind the wheel say they'll keep going and adapting like so many before them have. Do you think Americans realize just how important truck drivers are? <laughs> Not at all. Not even in the smallest percentage do I have and I, I have think that people know how important it is. 
they, they see us out here and they see the things on the shelf, but they don't, I don't think, put it two and two together. Brian Enton, News Nation. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.